what's up guys welcome to trending reviews so these are the mixta e10 wireless active noise cancellation headphones let me go ahead and give you an unboxing a setup and a review of actually how they sound so let's get straight into it all right so in the box you can find that it comes with the actual wired 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter cable it also comes with a micro usb charging cable and you also get a free airplane adapter as well so if you wanted to listen to this on flights then you can do that perfectly well and it also comes with this really cool sticker as well if you want to use this wherever you'd like to you also get a user guide to help you set up and get up and running now just to give you a bit of an overview on the design you can see the actual earpieces on the side they've got this nice metallic finish it's got a uh, plastic casing around where the buttons are and it has some very comfortable memory foam padded ear pieces. Along the top, the actual headband is quite rubbery and it's padded as well, so that gives you comfortability. And then also you get the mixer logo with a metal casing for adjusting the actual headband size. On the left earpiece, you only have one port there. It's the micro USB charging port. On the right earpiece, you have a few buttons. You have the actual headphone jack. You have the left and right playback buttons. And then you also have the uh, power button, which doubles up as a multi-function button as well. So one thing I really like about these headphones is that they give you a massive 30 hours of battery life. By all means, it's not the longest battery life on headphones like these, but it does an excellent job giving you all the power you need. Now this comes with something called MSC, which is mixed to supercharging technology. Now what that means is within five minutes, you'll get up to three hours of battery life in this to give you some awesome playback. Although it's not USB-C, which is a bit of a shame, but they've compensated that with that MSC technology in there. Now, one thing I really like about these headphones is that it comes with aptX low latency technology. Now what that is, that is a chip that goes into these headphones, which is developed by Qualcomm and that gives you a full synchronization between the audio and video playback when you're using these on the Bluetooth and wireless settings. So if you're watching a movie, let's say on your laptop, you have this connected through your Bluetooth and you're using this wirelessly, sometimes in wireless headphones, you have a bit of a lag in between the audio coming through compared to the video. And sometimes you can pick it up, sometimes you can't, but that technology in this, the Aptex low latency technology, it's just, completely blown all the other mixer headphones out of the water now it's got full synchronization it's instantaneous you're barely not going to notice any difference with the synchronization now i'll leave a link in the description below on where you can learn a bit more about that technology from the actual qualcomm website they've got more information and some really good other products that actually utilize this technology as well so definitely check that out now overall this uh, comes in at 90 pounds on Amazon. Now I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check that out, maybe purchase that as well. But let me go ahead and uh, connect this to my phone and give you a review of how it sounds. So I will be turning on the active noise cancellation as well to see how much this cancels up. Because one thing I really like about it, once you turn on the ANC button there on the right earpiece, this actually cancels up to 96% of noise in the background. Now that's probably the highest I've seen on a lot of these ANC wireless headphones. There's other headphones that have about 85 or 80% noise cancellation, but this is 96. So pretty much almost the whole world around you is just gonna be blanked out. So looking forward to trying that. Let me go ahead and connect this and give you a review. Okay, so I've just connected it to my phone. Now, just before I start playing something, I just wanna give you guys a look on the design of when you're wearing it. So this is the left side view. This is how it looks straight on. Now it's not too bulky, it's actually quite compact. I've seen some wireless headphones that are huge. Uh, I feel like they're very comfortable, so it doesn't really feel like anything's on my ear because the memory foam pads are softer than a lot of the previous wireless headphones I've reviewed. Now I've reviewed a lot of mixer headphones as well. I'll link them down below if you wanna check those out but some of them after a long period of time, they do start hurting your ears. Obviously it depends on the size of your ears, but do they sit on top of them? Do they completely cover all of them? That's something you need to be aware of. This one sits slightly on top of the actual ears as well, but I have larger ears than uh, most people. Let me go ahead, take my hat off. Okay, let's go ahead, play some music. Some top quality. Even with ANC off and the volume about 65%, it's still quite hard to hear myself. Now, I'm gonna turn on the ANC and see the difference. Wow. 
Okay, I absolutely cannot hear myself speaking right now. It's crazy. A lot of the previous headphones I've had, with the ANC feature on, I can slightly hear myself here. Nothing. It feels like I'm moving my mouth and nothing's coming out. Now, the bass in it, I think, is actually really good as well. So I can feel the punch coming through. The speakers are very top quality and I can see myself wearing this. Especially when I go on flights, it will do an excellent job. I can imagine this is not going to start hurting my ears from wearing this for at least like two, three hours in a row. And uh, if I'm going to be wearing it in the gym, no problems. I probably don't even need the ANC on, to be honest. And it does a really good job without that. So very comfortable, quite compact. I would see myself using this long term. Probably one of the best mixed day headphones I've had. I'll leave a link in the description below on where you guys can check that out. If there's anything else you want to know about this headphones or any of the other mixer headphones I've reviewed, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I have a lot more headphone reviews coming out in the future. I hope you subscribe so you won't miss those ones. I hope you like this video and I will catch you next time. Take care.